Hey Fit Fam, and welcome back to another Fit Tip video. This is Fit Tip number 28, and it is get more sleep. I'm sure you've probably heard it since you were young that you should be getting seven to eight hours of sleep, and it is true, it is based on science, and it is important. This is one of the most important things you can do for your overall health, as well as your body if you're trying to change the way that you look, lose weight, build muscle, anything like that. Our world and society today, I would say, is very comfortable with being super busy and only sleeping four, five, six hours a night. Now, of course, under some circumstances, like having kids, your, your sleep routine is gonna get messed up quite a bit, but it's not as normal and okay for us to sleep that little. We've just kind of made it normal. And yes, for some people that works perfectly fine, but it tends to be promoted as this thing that it's like you're more effective, you're better if you're getting less sleep and staying up being busy, but it's really not. It's detrimental to your health and it's more likely to weaken your immune system, lead to disease, cause you to overeat if you're not getting enough sleep. You just may not notice that it's happening or maybe your body is kind of adapted to it, but it's super important to get enough sleep. Of course, that's gonna vary from person to person, but research says about seven to eight hours is best. So why does it matter? Why do you need more sleep? Here's some of the key reasons and why it will help to improve your health and fitness. One is sleep really affects your hormones and helps to balance them. Some of the key hormones being uh, leptin and ghrelin, which affect your hunger. So in short, sleep affects your hunger hormones and is more likely to cause you to feel hungry and overeat than if you're getting enough sleep. So when you don't sleep enough, it tells your body that you're hungrier than you actually are and you're gonna eat more. It also tends to lead to craving, particularly like for things like carbohydrates and sugar to help boost your energy. I experienced this, I used to be part of a nonprofit organization and once a week we would go out onto the streets of Hollywood. We would head out there about 11 p.m. at night, stay till about 2 a.m. And at the time I was living in Orange County and so I would have to drive home to Orange County and then I would get to bed at maybe like three o'clock and then I would get up at about six and go to work the next day. Those days I felt nauseous, I felt tired and those were the days that I would crave sugar the most and that I was the most likely to just kind of like, whatever, forget it, I'm just gonna eat that. Like I struggled the most with temptation and eating sweets and junk food uh, and I was the most likely to just give into it because of being tired, because of needing energy um, and I didn't really realize what that was until I learned more about sleep but then it made complete sense that on those days when you're really sleepy and tired you're gonna want more sugary type of foods or just carbohydrates for quick energy and you're probably more likely to give into them because you're tired, you're stressed, you're weak, whatever um, and you don't have quite the same willpower. Another reason why sleep is super important is that this is when your body recovers from your workouts. So if you're pushing yourself in the gym and you're either working on endurance or you're building muscle and you're tearing apart your muscle tissue, this is the best time for your body to sleep and recover because really your body builds muscle when you're not working out your muscle, when you're letting it rest. Um, and at nighttime is when your body tends to release the most human growth hormone. And that is what's gonna help you to build muscle, um, build strength, build endurance, help your body to recover. Um, this is what's really gonna help you shape your body in the way that you want to. And so it's really important to get enough sleep that your body has time to grow and to recover and to build muscle. And the more muscle you have, the more your body can burn fat, the higher your metabolism is gonna be. So all of this kind of goes together, but that's a really important reason for why you need to sleep. It also helps to reduce stress, it helps to improve your immune system, and it helps to cut down on diseases. Um, and it feels great, who doesn't love to sleep? Um, so it's more likely also to help improve your mood and prevent things like depression. So if you want 
probably one of the easiest, most comfortable ways to lose weight this year, try to start sleeping more. Go to bed maybe 30 minutes early um, or see if you can sleep in an extra 30 minutes and cut out some of your early morning routine. But a lot of times nighttime is probably the easiest because that's when we tend to be just sitting around watching TV or reading a book or sitting on our phones and checking Instagram and Facebook. So scrap that. Turn down your lights, that will kind of help to put you in the mood for sleep. Try something like lavender essential oil, um, and I'll link to another video that I did on a sleep routine using an acupressure mat and lavender essential oil. Those are natural remedies to help you get to sleep faster and have better sleep. Um, also make sure your phone is turned off and that any electronics with blue light, your phone, whatever, are out of the room and turned off. Um, where you can't see them and they're not going to affect you because those really harm with your sleep. And definitely don't be sitting in bed doing Instagram and Facebook before, right before you go to bed because um, that affects your brain and that will make it much harder to sleep. So try and get off your phone like an hour, even a half hour before you go to bed um, and try to just do something relaxing like uh, taking a bath, meditating, lying on the acupressure mat. Those are some really great ways to help you fall asleep faster because if you're not used to it, then you may have to um, get in the routine of kind of having a bedtime routine that will start to slow your brain down and help you to bring the adrenaline down. Um, also make sure you're not drinking caffeine past about 2 or 3 p.m. depending on the person because um, that will really make it tough to go to sleep. And in general, the most caffeine you can cut out of your diet, the better. It's really gonna have an effect on how well you sleep. This is again one of those fit tips you've probably heard and you probably know, but make it a resolution this year to actually implement it and actually start sleeping more. Your body will thank you and you can pretty much guarantee you're gonna be able to control your hunger better and start to lose weight and hopefully see some muscle development as well. All right, so if that's helpful for you, if you have uh, tips on how to sleep better and improve your sleep, please leave those down below so others can see it. And I will see you in the next fit tip video. In the meantime, good luck on your fitness journey.